Hello, my sexy and beautiful people of the internet. My name is Diego, also known as the Chilean Retro Gamer. And welcome back to the Red of Sadness with the second round of tournament number four. I'm gonna be playing some Yoshi's New Island for the Nintendo 3DS. Technically, this is the first time I ever do a 3DS game on YouTube. So, I'm using an emulator, by the way. I'm using Citra or Citra. Whatever you want to pronounce it. And even though it runs good on my computer for the most part, there still can be some technical issues, especially the slowdown in places that load for the first time in game. So I apologize in advance for any technical inconvenience that we might encounter. Um, but yeah, this is the um, second game of tournament number four. And I decided to start like with, or, or basically finally start with 3D, 3DS games that I've been like testing out for around a year or so uh, via emulation. Obviously, I completely stopped testing anything on this emulator when I had my computer issue back in October, November of last year. By the way, I'm showing you. I mean, the, apparently you cannot skip the the plot, and apparently the stork uh, delivered the. Mario and Luigi to the wrong parents. Very smart. Or to their own house, whatever. So yeah, uh, it, it, essentially I am recording 3DS emulation and, and it is still an, in an experimental phase. So mistakes can be made, uh, bad things can happen. So that's why I'm apologizing in advance for whatever inconvenient we get on the way. I was actually trying to like start a test recording and I didn't like how the settings looked at first. And now I apparently got something better, I suppose. Again, still like things can change in, in between the parts. Anyway, let's talk about this game. Uh, this came out on the 3DS and it got very bad reviews in general. Like, it's basically, I remember someone saying this is like a ROM hack of the original Yoshi's Silent uh, with enhanced graphics. And, and those that enhanced um, adjective is kind of questionable. I don't know how much better than the original Yoshi's Silent in terms of graphics this is. Honestly, you know, I am not the type of guy that follows popular opinions because I have usually have my own and I don't get influenced by others until I experience things myself. So I might enjoy this game in the end. You never know. So I I rather not make decisions or take things for granted before I actually experience them myself. I watched a little bit of this game, uh, footage from some live streamer years ago, and one of the things that caught my attention for, 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 you know, for bad, was that repetitiveness of the music, which is something that they started doing a lot in Yoshi's Island DS and, and Yoshi's Story, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, 1-1. I guess we're doing the first two stages today. We're already wasting some time in the in the demo. At first, you will see the um, the gameplay really smooth because I already played through the first two stages like off camera, basically to test things out and stuff. So yeah, this looks awfully familiar. Obviously, like almost identical to One Dash One of the original game. Again, we're gonna be constantly making comparisons, criticizing things or admiring things. Okay, when it was testing, actually I missed this um, area. The controls are exactly the same. You use your tongue, you can jump, you can do a little hover and throw X as well. Two enemies like this. Apparently it is easier to get extra lives in this game. I'll, you will see why in a second. 
The, the egg tossing is not as smooth as I remember it being. Okay, we got a staircase. Oh no, I'm missing monies! Alright, I shouldn't do this. Because if I'm playing this game for the first time, I actually shouldn't commit to do 100%. In this case, I know that I can fix it. So I'm redoing this section. So before... Oh, too late. Set turkeys is already there. So I'm sure there were like... Um, red coins over there. Beyond the staircase. That I should have grabbed first, maybe. Yeah, when I said that the egg tossing is not very smooth, it's like you start aiming, but you cannot shoot like right away the moment you start aiming. You have to wait for two seconds or something like that to to being allowed to shoot, which obviously sucks. Okay, so here we have a new mechanic, the giant egg. Yeah, oops, enormous eggs can't fit through small spaces, trying to use it somewhere else. Yeah, essentially... They want you to use it on these gigantic pipes. And as you can see, you can get extra lives out of destroying everything, just like in New Super Mario Brothers when you become Giant Mario, when you get this big mushroom. And I think you have to use it again to... Just checking to get the remaining flower. Oh, I think I missed one already. Oh, I already destroyed this. Never mind. Here's the fourth flower. And yeah, this is the end of the level. Again, I'm not gonna go for 100% in any of the levels. Mostly because I just wanna play the game and experience it and... You know, I'm not the type of guy that like struggles to or likes to struggle with doing completions on camera. I do it on my own time, but not for for the amusement of others. So, uh, one dash two, jump, rock, and roll. Here we're gonna get a couple more mechanics introduced or reintroduced, I should say, because we already know that the boulder is uh, been a thing from the first game. You push it, and you can also use it as a platform to access higher areas. Again, I only play the first two stages of the game, so everything else from that point will be completely blind. It might, it might seem like I'm actually like, know what I'm talking about. I mean, I am, I know what I'm talking about essentially because I play this game, um, or, or the, sorry, the original Yoshi's Island and the DS version several times. So yeah, this game is being bashed on a lot. Just like at, at some point Yoshi's Island DS was bashed, even though Yoshi's Island DS was not a bad game. Like, people complain about a certain sequel not being similar to the first game, but when they make them similar to the original game, they complain because it was too similar. You never can please people. Help you scope out the area. Move your system to look up and down and all around. Yeah. Basically, you can use a giant egg to destroy all of the pipes and get all of that money all at the same time. Now you gotta tap the button for, of course, making an egg out of a giant enemy. And these uh, coins are a very good indicator that you have to use this egg to destroy pretty much everything and get the three one-ups, as you can see. Well, as I told you uh, a while ago, this game is apparently very generous with lives, seems like. Okay, we got the first transformation. We became a fucking shopping cart. <laughs> Whole system upright. Minecart Yoshi. Tilt to move. Press any button to jump. Touch the uh, pause to see controls. Yeah, well, you know, since I'm playing on emulator, the tilting is basically done with the mouse. You, I have to hold the right click button and basically move the mouse to the direction I want to go to, and I still have to use the jump button from the keyboard, which is what I'm using for for playing this game, Keyboard Master Race. 
So yeah, that's how I played 3DS. But at least the controls work just fine. I mean, again, I'm just holding the right click button, moving the, the, the mouse lightly to the left and right. And it's all about timing when, you know, for, for executing the jump. So nothing too bad. All right, we got checkpoints. Again, I, I am not expecting like huge differences here. I mean, so far, this looks to me like a ROM hack with enhanced graphics. But I, I, I like ROM hacks, I play them all the time, so... And besides, I'm not paying for this, so... It's not something that I'm kind of concerned or annoyed about, even if it's a bad game. Okay, I think in here I have to use the boulder. It works the same way as the Super Nintendo game. Oh, okay, I think I fucked it up because I needed to use that to get up there. I'm not particularly worried or angry about the fact. Okay, I, I knew one of those spies was going to serve a purpose. Easy. Four out of five flowers again. Probably missed the, the remaining three red coins and the flower, but you know, for not jumping on the boulder. Oh yeah, you notice some blue spikes back there. I think you can also use the boulders to to destroy those spikes. And also, you collect eggs. I don't know what purpose they serve, to be honest. But basically you collect a certain amount of eggs depending on how many flowers you collect through the level. That's what I've noticed. Again, I'm explaining things like I was doing a guide. I, I, I'm i basically just figuring things out as we go. So everything from this point will be super completely unknown, blind. So stay tuned for the next part everybody. Thank you for watching.